so in this video i created three different types of animated materials that will make your map so much better and i'm gonna show you guys how to make them all and the last one might even get your map rejected if you overuse it but let's just get straight into it so the first material is this caution material and you can even use it to make caution tape and barriers and people love animated bright colors so if you use it on your map it will make it much more engaging so to make it what you want to do is go over to uefn and i'm gonna leave all the textures i use in this video in the description so you guys can download them and make the same materials so you just want to download this one caution material and then just drag it into uefn and then after you import the texture you then just want to create a new material so right click and click material and then just open it up and you want to drag the texture that you just imported into the material and then just connect it to base color and you'll see it in the corner over here and then what we need to do is look up panner i think that's what it's called and then just drag it into uv and then here you can change the x and y axis of how the material is going to move so just set that x to like something like 0.2 and the higher you change it the faster the material will move but on the x-axis, it's going to move side to side and y is going to move up and down. So after you set it to the speed you like, just click apply and save. And then just drag the material onto the prop. And that's how you make the first material. Alright, so now it's time to move on to the second material. And you have probably seen this on a few maps. But it's this rainbow animated material. And you can use this to display weapons or custom weapons or hats that you make. And you can also use it to display power-ups. You can pretty much use it for whatever you want. But to make it, it's similar to the last material you just want to go back to uefn download the rainbow texture and then just drag it into uefn and then we just have to create the material so right click click material and then just drag the texture into the material and drag it into base color and the only difference is this time what we want to do to make it brighter and glow is right click and search up multiplier and then just drag the rgb over to the a and then just that output into emissive color and here we can change how emissive it's going to be which is also just how much it's going to glow so you can set this number to whatever you want but i'm gonna set it to something like four and then to make it animated what you want to do is right click and look up panner and then just connect it to the uvs and change the y axis to 0.5 and then just click apply and save and then just drag the material onto any prop that you want to have the rainbow effect all right so now it's time to move on to the final material and if you overuse this on your map it might potentially get it rejected but if you're careful with how much you use it on your map it shouldn't get rejected and you can drag it onto cars and pretty much any prop that you want to make look cooler so to make it it's just like all the other materials there's just one difference so just go back to uefn download the money texture drag it into the content browser and then just right click and click material and open up the material drag the texture into the material and then just drag it into base color and then just look up panner and drag it into the uvs but the only difference is you want to change the x and y axis to make it move on a diagonal so set it to something like 0.2 if you want it to move faster just set it higher and then just click apply and save and you can pretty much drag it onto any prop in fortnite and make it look sick but that's how you make these animated materials in fortnite creative thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace